。今天下午的这个 Falcon 的那个第一场演讲就要开始了，然后是由是是在毕业季大家都在写论文的时候，由 Alex 为大家带来的 l i g h t a p 的一些 tips。然后呃，因为 l i g h Alex 现在是清华的呃 THU d i s e s 这个项目的 maintainer， 所以他会给我们讲一些这样的东西。So uh, this is the first talk this afternoon, and Alec will bring out some lab hack tips. And he is the maintainer of the Tissue Thesis project, which is a template for uh, Tsinghua University's thesis paper. So let's welcome, welcome Alec. So thanks to Wang. So I will try to give the talk in English, but since I didn't prepare it. It's well, uh, maybe if I can, cannot have switch to Chinese. So today my talk, the, the title is Late Actives. Uh, I add a subtitle, uh, so uh, add this. Uh, so I would like to share uh, share you with um, my experience with Late Act. And, and uh, I will talk about some common errors your beginners will, will come uh, your experience with. And uh, I will explain how to debug the problems. and. Uh, how to crack them and uh, mm, to 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 uh, have good to have high quality outputs. So a, a sh for a short self introduction of myself, I'm Alec uh, for Fedora Project, and uh, my Chinese name is Zhao Tao, and uh, I'm also a, a member of the Tsinghua University Student Association. Uh, so we 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 no, we normally. Uh, call it just uh, we, we normally just call it tuna for short, and uh, you can see it's a background name. And, uh, uh, and uh, my 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 day job is to is a is a college is a master student at Tsinghua University. Uh, I major in wireless communications, and uh, so uh, I'll begin my my talk today. So. Here's the outline of my talk. So first I give a brief introduction of data, and then I'll um, divide the common errors into two categories. The first one is compilation errors, which means uh, run, uh, the, the errors which can stop the data from compiling. And the other category is, um, um, uh, is that in, is, in the kind which causes the bad output well by balance of the company. Uh, and and that's, I like give a summary. And of course, a simple, a brief introduction to type and data. So data, according to its author, is a documentation preparation system. So it was create, created by Leslie Lamport in early 1980s. So it has already a long history. So LaTeX is based on TAP, by which was developed by Donald E. Knuth, uh, uh, and uh, some years earlier. And the first version of TAP uh, should be uh, at 1978. And uh, a, a, a main characteristic of LaTeX is it's not a kind of word processor, and it's not what you see is what you get. You you actually you need to compile first uh, to get the up to to see the final output, and uh, but a good news is that LaTeX is free and open source, and uh, uh, the the LaTeX uh, many LaTeX the the LaTeX core and uh, many LaTeX packages are available under the uh, LPPL license, which means the LaTeX pro LaTeX project public license. It's uh, it's both free. Software license and open source, uh, for open source, open source licenses. And uh, uh, next, I will introduce some common concepts and terms when we are talking about, are talking about LaTeX. Uh, the the first item is the document class. It, it uh, so a document class means a generic uh, template. Uh, created by LaTeX, which used to prepare a certain type of uh, or documentation. Uh, a few examples are uh, the article class, the book class, or report class. So another commonly used uh, concept is packages. So packages um, are actually uh, you can regard it as add-ons to the latex core. So 
it uh, extend the basic LaTeX uh, functionalities into a more uh, uh, to 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 more uh, functionalities to extend the capabilities, uh, such as you can use the graph the graphics packages to include graphics to include figures in the LaTeX document, or you can use listings packages to uh, the listing package to typeset to uh, program language to code snips uh, in the document. Uh, another um, uh, company called uh, uh, Environment. Environment is kind of unique to LaTeX. It's not available in Arduino tab. So Environment is uh, like this. It's always uh, comes in pair. So that's a begin. Uh, uh, like the begin part and then the end part. So, uh, so the text are, um, uh, are just inside the, the, the pair. And uh, it's, it's slightly different with the command, uh, the so-called command. So a command is basically just a, uh, it, it begins with a backslash and with a command name and then it gives argument. Mm. And then maybe uh, I want to also um, introduce two terms about uh, more items. So why is it uh, about LaTeX engine? So LaTeX engine is actually the the, the binary uh, the, the binary program the, the command you use to typeset your uh, your document to compile. So to say, yeah, it's uh, just a. It has um, the same as compiler. It turns the latest source files uh, into the final output, such as PDF files. So it um, commonly used engine uh, like ZTAC, but uh, so the en the engine's name is ZTAC, but uh, you you need to use the ZTAC you type the command in the uh, command line to compile the latest document. And another uh, term is called format. So actually, LaTeX is just, a, just one of the many formats of LaTeX. So a format is uh, basically is just a set of macros uh, which uh, wraps the primitive command to typeset the document and the uh, <coughs> macros which are more user friendly and more easily to be used. So there are many uh, three formats uh, today. Uh, LaTeX is a common use one, and uh, 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 there are also the plain text, and also a new a, a new one called contact. So let's um, move to next slide. So one of the um, main design philosophy of LaTeX is to separate the separation of presentation and the con content. Uh, and you can find the same. You can actually find the same philosophy in the modern web development. You, you use HTML to uh, write the content and you use CSS to uh, decorate the, to customize the styles. So here's a simple compatible data document. So, um, so the first line uh, that shows the document class we will now write, write an article and then you can notice an important environment which is required in every data document is a document environment. So, you, the, so the stuff about begin document and uh, uh, in, uh, the between the document class uh, declaration and begin document are called the preambles. Uh, so in this part we, we customize the, the style, custom the presentation style. So normally we use some kind of packages here and uh, uh, do some setup and customization. And then in, inside the document environment, uh, we will write the actual contents, uh, uh, which is uh, my, uh, uh, the, the all those content, which uh, is mainly the, 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 the idea you want to convey, not the, uh, uh, specific uh, formatting uh, styles, and uh, and someone um, um, someone would like me to uh, introduce uh, 
uh, more about the CJK support or Chinese support. Uh, but uh, but, uh, but in, in my idea, the Chinese support is quite uh, is quite quite good now, and actually the use the usage is not uh, not very complicated. And uh, uh, here is a rather complete uh, a, a somewhat complex uh, samples. Uh, uh, when you want to use use Chinese with uh, Beamer slide. <coughs> document class. So actually the, the main <coughs> the, the main stuff is the sec the second line you you just actually you can you just use the package the C tag package package and uh, it will provide the Chinese support for you. But uh, so here the stuff are for uh are Linux specific uh, since uh, uh, nowadays we, we are lack of well, yeah, lack of uh, good open source, good free Chinese font here, and mm, mm, and the uh, CTEC package does not uh, specify a, a reasonable default for Linux system, so so we, we need to add this this line to to uh, specify the the Chinese font we we use. But uh, these lines are not necessary uh, if you are using a uh, Windows uh, system or a Mac system. Uh, they are already uh, uh, the fonts are already there. And uh, the 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 third line here is uh, only required in the slides if you want to use sans sans serif font uh, rather than serif font. Which, um, 無缺陷字體的話就要加上第三行。呃,你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你
message part. So later, uh, out to the L dot 3, here L means LAN, 3 means it's the LAN 3, the power LAN. And uh, so, so it means we when uh, they attack, the attack engine detect an error in the power LAN, and uh, the exact position is like this. It's, uh, uh, it divides uh, the star line into two parts, the first part mm, and uh, use some uh, best, uh, spaces to, to just demonstrate where the average actually is. So you can see here the average is actually the, uh, the, 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 the command. Uh, 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 we, have, we just have a type, a, a type holder. We want to say section, but we but we miss the I there. So let's come back. So, so um, oh, actually, so so this mode it uh, so it will stop compile, and uh, uh, actually this is an uh, interactive debugging mode. So you can use uh, several magic keys here, um, but if you're not sure, you can you tap a a. a <laughs> Uh, and okay, and uh, and uh, later I will tell you more, and and here are some explanations. So the commonly used ones like uh, uh, you can use H. So uh, here it, the, this mode is case insensitive. You can use either capital case letter or uh, small case letter. Both are okay. So you you actually you can type H for health. So let's try. So, so basically, if you type H, uh, it will give more, uh, more messages to explain the error here. So here, uh, you, you can see it shows it uh, runs the it, it says uh, the control sequence at the end of the top line uh, was never defined. Um, and uh, so if you can misspell it, <coughs> and you can correct it, um, otherwise, just continue and do whatever. And uh, so, so you can see it actually can guess if uh, that's a type of something. And uh, another key um, normally used is mentioned um, here is uh, the I. So you, you use I to insert a, uh, you can use I to create a compare with the spelling here. Like here we, 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 we can try. This one. Okay, so so that 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 kind of code is compiled. Uh, it comes to a mess error, and you can use X if you want to keep. So if you just stop the compile, you 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 didn't get the um, output. So you have a chance to add the your the source file and to to carry the other errors. So um, for now, um, let's yes. And let's go over the commonly the, 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 the errors we we commonly met. And uh, the, the most common attack uh, errors might be the uh, the one that showed it, it's called the undefined control sequence. So in, in text uh, term control sequence is uh, just uh, what we mentioned, it's a command. It begins with a backslash and with a command name. And uh, the most, uh, mm, the, the, and the, 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 the reason why, why we get the, uh, the, uh, this kind of error message uh, is multiple, and the, but the most common reason is uh, we, we, we have a typo here. We, we just mis misspell the, the term we want to express. Or, or maybe we, we use a command, a control sequence from a, a, a third party package, but you forgot to um, include, you forgot to use this package in the preamble. Uh, so um, later just uh, doesn't uh, recognize that command. Or maybe you just misremember the command, you, 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 uh, you mistake it. And so, uh, this is uh, maybe the most commonly met one. And uh, the second one is um, the 
you need to change the new command. Uh, you need to use re new command to define the command, not new command. Uh, another error um, comes along with uh, the case you want to include graphics. It might uh, tell you uh, it meets a, an unknown graphics extension, or it cannot determine the size of the graphics. It tells you there's no bounding box or uh, some similar uh, messages. Uh, this is commonly it's a it's a common issue when you use EPS figure, and uh, it's and um, and especially EPS figures generated by some some tools some external tools. So uh, so so if the tools cannot do it, cannot generate the APS figure with correct bounding box value, they, they can, will cannot determine the size and the uh, uh, error. Uh, in, the, in this case, you need to uh, uh, use, connect, use some tool to fix the, uh, the bounding box value, or you just manually set the value, or you choose that, uh, another tool to generate the figure. And in and uh, in maybe uh, one year ago or two years ago, this uh, error is open. You can also meet this error if you use EPS figure with PDF tag engine. And uh, in that in that time in that um, back to that time, the the, P, the PDF tag engine is configured without automatic EPS PDF support. So. So actually, PDF tag engine does not understand EPS figure. It will uh, only accept uh, uh, graphic um, extensions such as PDF or JPEG or PNG. It does not rec uh, recognize EPS. But nowadays, uh, it it is already configured to uh, to call a a tool called to automatically convert the EPS convert the EPS to a PDF figure and then it, it, it does the conversion for you. So now that you normally will not uh, it, uh, uh, it's normally this case anymore. And um, so uh, another another later error is um, it tell you uh, there's no line here to end. So <coughs> this many calls if you insert actual double backslash a, a new line character, a new line command here. So, so you want to, <coughs> so, 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 so you maybe you, you just want to add some uh, vertical spaces here. Okay. Mm. Uh, I need to speed <laughs> up a little, a little bit. Mm. Uh, here, here are something about the warning. So basically, the warnings are not, not uh, so um, are not so severe uh, as um, as errors, but it, it may in in uh, it may indicate some errors. And uh, little warnings are mainly all for and for boxes. And uh, one reason is about is caused by the unreasonable use of new line character. Actually, the new line command is not for creating a new paragraph. Uh, in this case, you should use black lines instead of your source file. And also, it's not common use for, for new line in parallel. In this case, the, the better way is to let type happen for it. And to, um, to, and to, to animate this kind of warning, the best way is just to, to adjust your Content actually. And the later warning. Here are two later warnings which are actually um, errors here. So it might tell you some citation or reference uh, uh, is undefined. And uh, uh, this warning actually is normal if the compilation is not the final state, not the last time. But uh, if it, uh, but uh, but otherwise it uh, does indicate the error error. No, or uh, it can tell you uh, the label uh, some label is um, if I multiply multiple multiple times. Uh, 
for uh, so your actual neutral fix is. And uh, here are more debugging tips. So, um, so uh, sometimes your document can, be, can become quite complex in this um, scenario. You, uh, the best tool is to use BISAC. So you just you use binary search to find the root cause of the, of the error. And uh, to aid the process, you can use the include only command which uh, only compile that part. Or you, use post, uh, you can use post angle, um, uh, which means you can put some stuff behind the end document, uh, so they will be ignored by the engine. Or you can use block command or command from Robiton um, packages to uh, block comment some, some sections. Or and you can show the definition of specific command by show command or uh, some other command in show three packages. So let me talk about uh, uh, bad outputs briefly. So actually here is not a so severe errors, but we are mainly um, uh, it's mainly concerned with uh, good or bad outputs in the PDF file as well. So, so, so actually you need to be careful with the punctuation here. And uh, beginners might forgot that you need to use the grid sign to, to begin the code. And uh, for pure level, you need to, um, sometimes you need to take care of specific spaces. And uh, dash, you, 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 you use a single dash for hyphen and a double dash for uh, to specify a range of base or numbers. And you use three, uh, three dash or called a n dash to insert a break in the, in the sentence. So about figures. Mm. So about figure positioning, actually you know, the, the, um, the previous uh, uh, mm, the previous is not quite uh, good. Uh, the, the better way is just is to use uh, the, the letter case. And uh, no, and uh, and I note about um, bitmap figures. Uh, you should you should be aware that the whole figure file which is valid in the output PDF. And uh, for bitmap figures, a DPM match can, can lead to blurring in the output file. The solution is to uh, use vector graphics as much as possible, and, uh, but for digital photos, they can actually be OK. And uh, if you need to uh, get some, capture some screenshots, uh, you might need to do it first. And let's skip this one. And uh, mess, uh, let's skip the mess lines. Okay. Mm. Here are some about the uh, use web type to research citations. Um, mm, I'll skip that. So, let's talk about, uh, talk about something about slides. So, first, if the font choice when you use web type to create slides, well, uh, about from family, should be should it be sorry for sensor? Actually, there's some debate here, and uh, the current uh, it seems like sense font is more preferred today, but sorry font may be used in some con conservative scenarios, uh, as if in an academic academic uh, uh, meetings or conferences. And uh, but for math text, then they might be better in theory. You can use this line to guide them or to do that for you. Um, and to emphasize the uh, text, uh, better use color uh, rather than italic, rather than the original emphasize command. And uh, note that if you want to include some code in the slides, uh, remember to add a fresh <coughs> option to the frame. Or it will, it will just kind of com compile to it. Oh, okay, here the summary. So, uh, log is uh, log is your friend when when you debug a latex document, and uh, actually details many details matter for aesthetic and high quality documents, and uh, some work is uh, might be tedious, and uh, we can try find ways to 
automated. And here are some more some references here you can use. Uh, and they will cover more uh, uh, about the common errors here and some in maybe technical writings and the bibliographies. Mm, and uh, finally, uh, I, I do. Uh, I know that we cannot solve the problems um, in, in one talk or, 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 or two. Uh, actually, so uh, you can so you can well, you cannot find a friend uh, nearby to ask to to help you. You can ask over the web. So where? So where to ask? So um, so I I recommend you can ask question on Tesla Institute com if you can be a kind of new um, website, but there are uh, already many um, high quality questions and answers there. Another maybe the little community uh, forum. Uh, it's a more traditional forum, and many uh, later contributors are there. And uh, um, a, a, a tip about how to ask, actually, when you ask a question, try to describe your, your environment, your version, uh, your package version, your setup uh, in more details, and give a minimal example to demonstrate your, uh, your, your problem. So it will help you uh, to this will help you and help others. And at last, I, will, I would like to uh, welcome um, everyone to join the uh, various um, projects and uh, um, and uh, uh, um, projects. So the the, uh, the first is THU thesis. It's a thesis template for Tsinghua University. And currently, I am one of the maintainers there, and uh, you are free to uh, report bugs and uh, send patches uh, to the project. And uh, the second tool now is um, in, it's an open source, uh, uh, it's a, a student association in Tsinghua University with focus on open source technologies and networking technologies. Uh, we run the open source mirror sites in Tsinghua. And uh, that's a federal project uh, considered to join the community to come to, to contribute back to the community and to, um, to, to improve yourself at the same time. So that's all uh, for my talk. Thank you. Any questions? Any questions? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I have no way to raise it. I am confused. I am asking about what is the possibility compared to the GUI application? So the main difference is that uh, later it is not actually not a GUI. Word processor like uh, some kind of office, uh, and uh, it's not what you see even what you that but uh, you need to compare them. Some it looks a bit more complex and um, less user friendly, but the main advantage is that uh, you can give you uh, very good uh, auto qualities, uh, um, especially for mass formulas or. Um, as from uh, which are required in the academic uh, situations. Another uh, advantage may be uh, you can do many uh, do many things automatically for you. You can uh, insert the table of contents, a list of figures, a list of program files, a list of um, many, many things uh, just with one command. So it will do, do it for you. So you, you just need to focus to write your own uh, contents, your own contribution to the uh, for some problem, you don't need to worry about the format or style. <coughs> um, any other questions?